Community members voiced their opinions tonight on what to name the new schools going up in the West End. Gladys Batista joins us live now with the story. Gladys is clear that those attending felt it's important to have their voices heard. Yeah, that's right, Vicki. These new schools are going to be the first schools JCPS has built in West Louisville in a long time. And community members want the names that go on them to be impactful. Anytime we have an uh, opportunity to share our voice and hear our concerns and uh, make a difference and an impact, this is exciting. West Louisville community members are embracing that excitement by helping put their stamp on three new JCPS schools, two of which will be in West Louisville. It's in the community and we need to always be taking part what's going on in our community. It's, uh, it's going to be our kids going to that school and we need to be involved in that. Angela Bowens and Tiffany Stoner joined just over a dozen other area residents at the Shawnee Satellite Office for a forum to help name these three new schools opening within JCPS for the 2023 to 2024 school year. They need to see positive in them. Just, so we need to make sure we support anything that's positive for our kids. Many of the suggestions focused on those who have made positive impacts to our country. Students need to be excited and energized by, by the person that their school is named after. And I think that I can't think of a better person than Dolores Huerta. And right here at home. Naming the elementary school for William H. Perry Sr. Because the school is already named for him. Bowens calls it a chance for impactful and insightful community engagement. I mean, everything came with something that I didn't under know, and then I actually learned a little history along the way, so I do. I, I love it. So the next meeting, I'm like, I need to be back at the next meeting to hear these suggestions and anything that I might have missed. While Stoner says everybody working together on this is helping turn a page towards a brighter future for our entire community. Well, I think it means that they're being seen and heard and that uh, finally, finally knowing that we need more schools, they're overcrowded, that we look at research and saying uh, as far as the number of kids in the classroom, that we need to have more, uh, more, more schools in this area to be able to combat those numbers. So yes, it's exciting. You just hear so much passion from everyone that went today. Now, there's another forum being held next week. That one will be at J-Town High School on January 31st from 530 to 7 p.m. Live in the newsroom, Gladys Bautista, WLKY News.